There you are. Well, hello, 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 my dear friend. Man, let me tell you, it has been a while. <laughs> As you can see, we are not in our normal surroundings that you might still know from my previous videos. And that has a simple reason. That simple reason is that we finally moved into our own house and you can't even believe how freaking excited I am and that's also the reason why it has been a little bit quiet here on my channel for a little while Ooh, that's bright this monkey adopted incredibly well to her new backyard so to be to be frankly honest <laughs> it has been four weeks now almost just about four weeks that we were in this house already Time flies. Time flies, I tell you guys. Oh, hold on. There we go. Camera is adapting. <laughs> I tell you all the good things about being a first time homeowner. <sighs> it, it just feels incredibly good. With this being said though, we still have tons of things that we want to do to that house, but Today it's not about kind of like showing you guys the house and giving you a quick house tour, but it's coming. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. <laughs> but today we gotta go for a ride because it has been way too freaking long. And with this being said, let me show you where our babies are resting at the moment. Because, 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 because we got a freaking garage. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh my gosh, okay, that's dark. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Mm, -da -da. So we have a spot not just for the car but also for the bikes. Reason why it's only my little baby here right now and not Andy's usually right behind it is that he's at work. Poor beggar. <laughs> so it's only my my bike here waiting to go out for a spin. And we're definitely gonna do that too. Uh, because there are quite a few things I have to update you guys at. <sighs> many, many things happened over the past four weeks. And for you, it's probably even longer since you, since I have last talked to you guys. So yeah, let's jump on the bike and let's go. Still need my sunglasses. <laughs> One thing I definitely learned to do while starting the entire motovlog journey is taking test audio <laughs> with my GoPros. Test, test, one, two, three, four. Test, test. Test, test, one, two, three, four. Test, test. Um, just because it happened way too often that I recorded a video and there was no audio. Test, 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 one, two, three, four. Test, test. Perfect. Awesome. And just like that, the camera is ready to go. Okay, now you have to sit on my handlebar and then we're ready to rock and roll. Oh. <laughs> okay. Perfect. we go one. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. Paulna isn't with me today because today I just want to ride. I want to ride all by myself. And we're in the cutest little neighborhood now. Oh, and a garage is so freaking nice. All right, all right, all right, let's go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I took my tripod with me too because I'm in urgent need of some good photos and footage for reels. Which means we're finding basically now a cute little spot to park our ass and then take a couple of shots. Just a few. Not too many. Just a little bit. I hate stop signs. Oh, well we stopped. Look at my new phone mount. 
Isn't it cute? I had a different one before that was like worked like a charm. It was cheap. It was cheerful. Um, but believe it or not, someone stole it off my motorcycle. Like I couldn't believe it. <laughs> like there were so many things on my bike, but they chose to steal the cheapest phone mount ever. <laughs> Which is fine because now I could actually order a new one. It's even better because it doesn't squish all my little like buttons on the phone there. So it works out, but like, what the hell, guys? A phone mount. <sighs> but yeah, anyways, for the new one, I will have the link down in the description for you because I really, really like it. So, what is new? And oh my god, these clouds. What? Ooh, that looks like a thunderstorm rolling in. I don't like it. I hope I can get the ride in my video before it starts. Jesus Christ. Okay, so anyways, what's new? Obviously, the fact that we moved into our house. <laughs> um, the tune was just crazy. So my in-laws came from Germany at the beginning of June, helped us get ready and get packed, and then we got, of course, our keys to our new house and then moved in like we were all moved within a day like we had so much help and here actually let me just roll a little bit of a footage of like how we got the keys and everything <laughs> So cute, isn't it? <laughs> so our... Like I didn't even have much footage from the actual day of moving Because it was just go, 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 go And we unpacked everything, we hung everything We, we got everything in the place where we need to go There were just a couple of things like our bedroom Like the bed frame that still needed to arrive And, and all these little things But I mean, like the main thing is that we actually arrived at the house and everything moved in there and honestly just thinking of like how quickly we filled up the house with all the stuff we had just squished into our apartment <laughs> no idea where all this stuff was like stored it also to be fair we already bought some outer furniture that we just stored in like a storage unit we got for free from u-haul for a month because we rented a truck um, same with the barbecue um, that we just got new basically for the house and believe it or not but we won a rubber smoker and he was like dreaming of smoking for a long time anyways already and like waiting for the house to be able to buy a rubber smoker but then one day we just walked into Wickerland here in Kelowna they had like a radio station there and a raffle so we just threw our name in and a couple of hours later they're like yeah congratulations you won an $1800 smoker from Weber and I'm like sweet <laughs> so since then we smoke quite a few things um from ribs to chicken to um bacon meat bombs like so good so good but yeah it was so funny too because when we actually just moved and when we tried to pick up the smoker that we want with our SUV that we thought is actually relatively big <laughs> it, the smoker or at least within the package didn't fit within our car yeah <laughs> so we ended up basically taking everything out of the package and putting piece by piece in the car. Worked out great. <laughs> Worked out great. But that was too like one thing that we basically stored in the storage unit until we could actually get into the house. I don't like Harley's uncomfortable. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was not just it because we moved into our house on the 15th of June. And with my in-laws still being in town from Germany, we booked a Rocky Mountain road trip a few months ago. Like even before we realized that we bought a house or that we we're gonna buy a house and get a possession day kind of just right before it. <laughs> so we planned like a pretty much a one-week tour through the Rockies. It worked out good. But we basically started to leave on the 18th of June in the morning, first time. 
we packed everything up and drove towards Chespa. So from Camel to Chespa, it's just pretty much about the same route we took last year with the motorcycles. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, I have them linked up in the corner there for you. It was a pretty cool trip. We had way better weather though last year, I have to tell you, because it's, like, it was cool. We had, like, just going up the connector towards Marion and the Kamloops, it started snowing. Yep, mid of June, snow. But that wasn't it. No, it gets worse. It totally gets worse. Because when we arrived in Chesper, it was still all fine. It was cloudy and foggy. The, the clouds were just hanging in there. You couldn't really see much of the Rockies. But in the morning, when we woke up in Chesper from our hotel, <laughs> we opened the blinds and Annie was just like, what the fuck? And I was like, wait, what? What's happening? And I look outside, it was covered in freaking snow. So much snow that it ended up that, or that it happened that Chespa experienced a power outage, like the entire town. We just managed to get into a breakfast spot so we could eat something and then just pack everything up and leave. But man, people were even buying, building snowmans. Snowmans and shoot, they couldn't believe it. But the further we got south, like towards Banff, because it was our next stop, or like Canmore, really, to be realistic, it just got more and more snow, like it was a winter wonderland. And needless to say, we were not equipped and clothed to go through a winter storm. Thank God our car is all season tires, because otherwise it would be screwed. Like so much so that, like even when we were going through like the Ice Parkway there, a truck or like a pickup truck and its trailer actually t-boned itself because it, they were going around the corners too fast lost control kind of started sliding and then blocked the road for two hours so for two hours there was no moving lona loved it because as you guys know lona absolutely loves snow so she rolled in it she played in it she had fun but yeah, we didn't so much because again, just like thin runners, thin jackets, nothing even remotely close to what we should have been wearing in the first place. And the funnier it gets, like as soon as we actually arrived in Kenmore, there was nothing. There was no snow, there wasn't even indication of snow. Which leads me to the assumption that, because uh, believe it or not, we saw actually a couple of motorcyclists like going through that winter storm. <laughs> Um, which I I hope to God, I really hope so much that they made it okay because it wasn't just cold and freezing no, it was slippery as hell people didn't have their winter tires on obviously because it was freaking true um, so everybody was sliding everywhere so I just really really hope they made it okay to where they needed to go but like in, Ch in Banff and Camor there was nothing there was absolutely nothing that indicated that there should have been snow up there crazy crazy anyhow <laughs> as soon as we made it to Kenmore uh, we stayed in Kenmore in uh, a couple of days so we explored Banff we explored Kenmore Lake Louise of course did a quick little hike to Mirror Lake uh, and just showed them as much as we can of the Canadian Rockies here to my in-laws they loved it but it, man it was an exhausting trip because the next day too um, we actually went up towards Revelstoke that was our last and final stop and went even to the ghost town if, if, guys if you haven't been to the ghost town yet in at the three valley gap in revelstoke you definitely should put that on your next next bucket list they set that up so perfectly awesome it, it, definitely worth the trip but no that's not it after we came back we basically um also drove to also using oliver for a day i explored that area and then the last weekend they were here we even um, went actually to Vancouver because they were, they were flying out of Vancouver again and we basically wanted to stay a night there so we drove up there Saturday spent the day there just showed them a couple of little hikes showed them Stanley Park and showed them how much we don't want to <laughs> live in a big city anymore because the traffic is absolutely bonkers um, and then we basically dropped them off on Sunday morning and we made our way back to Kelowna to arrive in our house for the first time alone. Man, it was a weird feeling. <laughs> Getting used to that because there were always so many people around. Hello, friend. It's, it's quite a difference. 
fucking love it. Honestly, we absolutely love it. <sighs> Having a house, not just an apartment, is amazing. Having a garage with the motorcycles too, not having to go down to the parkade. And then having a backyard for Lona. Ugh, so freaking good. Oh, I love curves. West Side Road in Kelowna. But man, there are many accidents happening here, which is kind of sketchy. Because people are taking corners so fast. So not just motorcyclists, but cars too. And then all of the wildlife, as you can see, displayed here. It's all just coming together. And we're coming up to the spot that I want to set up to. I don't remember that there was that much gravel. For some reason I thought that was paved. But that's alright. Okay, let's take a couple of videos. Let's take a couple of pictures. And then I'm out of here again before the rain or the thunder comes in. So let's get cracking. So what do we want to do first? Reels? Oh no reels. Take a couple of thumbnails pictures first, shall we? And it's freaking hot too! So basically what I'm doing is I'm actually taking a video of me just moving around so that I actually can take a couple of screenshots from it and hopefully create a couple of cool pictures. So many cars. Okay, that's it. It's getting too freaking hot. It's, it's getting super humid, so I kind of just have a feeling that it's happening super soon that we get a little thunderstorm, which just means I need to try to get out of here ASAP. You're recording? You are recording. So right now there's no one coming, now we're going. There we go. Whew. Okay, let's go. I'm melting. That's the worst thing you can do to your motorcyclists, I swear to God. Sit them in like like burning sun without wind in the face. <sighs> oh yeah. Okay, what else? What else? Oh, mark your calendars, my friends. Kim Coates, one of the cast members of Sons of Anarchy, is coming to Kelowna. And he's coming to the Kelowna Holly Davidson dealership. And we're all going to go on a charity ride. And you can bet, be a little bum bum, that I'm going to be there. That we're of course going to vlog this entire thing. Because A, it's not just for us to actually meet him. No, it's for a good cause too. And we're going to go on a ride. Like, I mean, come on. Can it get any better? No. But that's happening on August 19th. That's a Saturday. August 19th. Mark in your calendar. The video about Kim Coates is coming pretty shortly after that. Oh man, I think I'm just lucky enough looking over my shoulder. Ooh, I think it's gonna come in good. <laughs> anyways, anyways, I'm sorry guys that really the past few weeks have been kind of quiet on this platform for you and well, for me too. But in the future, if you don't want to miss any of my tay to tay day to day you can't even talk anymore see that's how bad it gets uh, but if you don't want to miss <coughs> okay now it's getting ridiculous but anyways if you don't want to miss any of my day to days make sure you follow me on instagram as well and if you want to see any of the result of the videos and the pictures that I took um, you better follow me on tiktok too all links are down in the description for you and if any of you are actually gonna join too uh, um, this charity ride with Kim Coates, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to meet up with you guys. No matter how much I actually love riding, I can't stand riding in the rain. This is one of these things that I could definitely love without. And I'm sure all of you too. <laughs> oh man, and then one of the biggest things we almost forgot. We cracked the 3000 guys. We made it. 
to over 3,000 subscribers and that all happened within the time frame that I could not have a chance to actually sit down and thank you guys from the bottom of my heart 3,000 it's unbelievable I just remember when I first started and I was like oh only if I would have my first hundred and then man only if I would have my first 500 about a thousand and just like that then it jumped to 3,000 <laughs> I can't even be more thankful okay but this was already like a super long ass video now too and thank you so much for sticking around and you can expect quite a few more videos happening now and coming your way again because it's over too and I feel re-inspired just getting moved into the house getting kind of recouped and recruit is it's definitely helping just getting stuck in the apartment wasn't really doing much for me what else oh jeez my birthday was in between two. <laughs> oh, my birthday's on June 14. So just the fact that that all happened within the same time frame. Because fun fact, uh, when we actually got the key to our house, it was the evening of my birthday. So just before we went to dinner with a couple of friends, um, <laughs> we could actually pick up the keys. It's crazy, crazy coincidence. But yeah, for that one too, then for my birthday, I got from Annie and my parents-in-law also a new golf push cart because mine was literally falling apart and I just got, I'm just getting more and more into golf too. Like, it's actually becoming really fun because I'm just getting better in it too, right? And I got a new golf bag too. So next one is better clubs because I just got mine super cheap because I didn't even know if I'm gonna enjoy it or love it or keep playing or not but I definitely am, a, am I gonna keep playing which is kind of stupid on my side because summer is usually booked for motorcycles and now it's also booked for golf <laughs> but it's something Annie and I are gonna do together again as well so it's just fun it's just fun but we need to find something we can do in the winter time because winter right now it's not like need of golf or bike so that's kind of shitty but we might get back into skiing actually him and I we both grew up actually skiing coming again from Germany and we live close to the Alps um, so it kind of like both of us we got set on like just put on some skis as soon as we could walk basically more or less um, but ever since we've moved to Canada we haven't had storage yet to actually buy our own ski equipment but that might change too now that we have a full basement, a garage and so much more freaking room. And as I promise you guys, I'm actually gonna take a little bit more along on, the, on my day to day. Uh, what is happening, what I need to do, what I'm doing. So you see a little bit more of me, hopefully. And again, if you don't do that yet, follow me on Instagram so you see even more of me. <laughs> but that's it now. That video is already long enough. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I hope you have tons of fun out there and uh, we'll see each other next week. <laughs> Until then, have fun, enjoy, ride if you can uh, and have a glass of wine or two for me or actually beer. How about that? <laughs> okay, see you guys. Bye bye.